In today's video, we're going to be doing a much needed upgrade for a lot of my reptiles here on the channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned to check out this awesome video. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics. And on this channel, we like to make videos about reptiles and amphibians and how to take care of them and a lot of different other aspects of reptiles in herpetology. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a much needed upgrade because I went to Repticon over the weekend and I picked up two new enclosures that has two cages in one and I'm going to be using one entirety of it for the new rattlesnake enclosure and everything. So this is going to be a pretty cool video. This thing is brought to you by MFD Mid Florida Display. So I picked this up from them. I put a uh, little QR code right here on the back. I'm going to be doing a review on this enclosure to check it on out tell you how much I paid for it and everything and let's go ahead and get started busting all this stuff down back here so we can make room for our new enclosure all right so we got these things set up I got the shelves and everything out the way and let's take a look at this enclosure here this enclosure is I believe about four feet across about 18 inches deep and about 15 inches tall so this is a pretty decent size and this has a divider here in the middle to separate these two and you can take the top off here and take the divider out and you can have one entire cage and they are lockable which is something that I was looking for but they all come with keys and then you flip down and you can access your animal from the inside of here but I'm going to be putting the pygmy rattlesnake it's probably be down here we're gonna put the copperheads over here on this side and the eastern diamond back is gonna go in these two together once I take the middle one out. But one thing about these enclosures is the fact that they do not come with any kind of lighting or anything like that. So they're stackable for one thing. I do like that. The quality of everything, hinges good, locked pretty decent. And this is, I believe, half inch thick half inch uh, plexiglass that they're using here. So that's pretty sturdy, not real bendable. You can't really pull that out or anything. So it's gonna be a pretty secure PVC enclosure. But I'll give you guys a little look on the inside to check out how much space it is. And I really enjoy it. I think this is gonna be a great addition because if I get a couple more, we can stack these up and we can get all our animals kind of all together in one area. We can film some videos and do things a little bit more safer here at Hostways Exotics. So for the very first step of this project, adding these lights onto these enclosures, is we gotta get a hole saw bit, and we're gonna drill a hole on the right side because we're gonna work on the rattlesnake enclosure first. And we're just gonna put one light over here on this side, and we're gonna let the other side be as cool side where as high it is, and you can come out and bask over here on the right. So we're gonna drill that probably right, right in the middle, or maybe a little further to the back there, and then we're gonna do a routing bit, and we're gonna go straight to the back so that way we can make the seam all the way down so we everything will be getting flat and flush So now that we got this already ready for our friend here, we need to go ahead and do the tedious task of pulling out all these screws from the top here so we can get the divider out and start working on uninstalling the light from the underside. All right, so we got everything out and all the screws and everything here so the next thing is we got to pull out this divider so there's no screws here on the divider so we just go ahead and pull this guy on out of here and there you go so as you can tell the thing has ventilation holes in here across the top so i would recommend if you're going to use something like this you need to use a larger snake because the holes are gonna be very easy for a bigger, a uh, little bit smaller snake to get out of there. So definitely for larger snakes, like ball pythons and you know boas, maybe something like that'll work in here. 
but I think this is a pretty good deal here that I got going on so we're gonna try it out and see how it works out and while I got it out I figured I might as well go ahead and clean everything out spray it down with some chlorhexidine solution and go ahead and start putting some mulch in here so we got our top here flipped up and I believe what we're gonna do now is We are going to mark where we're going to mount our holes at for our light. Because what we're going to do, we're going to mount us a slim receptacle like this. And just put that in there in its place. Take that. All right, so we got this thing mounted with our screws. We got, our, got all that taken care of. So this so just slide right off of here with a little bit of a tug if we need to we can loosen these up just a tad and we take that off boom so we can go ahead and put that back in whenever we get done so now the next step is we're going to flip this thing over and we're going to take a router we're going to cut a line going straight to the back to make sure this cord stays good and flush with everything so let me get you guys set up over here you can kind of see what we got going on we can zoom on out so I got the router here. This is just an older one that I got from my dad to borrow real quick. And this thing will cut a little small groove. I got it set however I want it. And we're just gonna set it down here. Yeah. And go from there, so. So now that we got our groove cut out right here, that way our core can lay down right in there pretty flat because I'll show you how we're going to do that too. So what I have here is three extension cords. And I'm going to cut the ends of these off and I'm going to use these as the power cords going to our lights. And I think it's gonna work out just fine. Just put them right down in there, just like so. So, like I said, we're just gonna cut the ends off here. Boom. We don't need those. And we're gonna split these guys down the middle here. And you have to get you some electrical cutters, electrical sheathers here, or wire strippers, I'm sorry. And you can go ahead and strip your wire, get you some bare wire in there. But we might need a little bit more. So we got our two pieces of bare wire here. So now we just gotta figure out which side is which. And we're gonna take the wire and we're gonna put one here. And we're gonna put one on this side here. But we're gonna make a loop. And loop her in just like that. And you always want to make sure to loop them the same way that you're tightening your screws. So that helps to lock your wires on there. We got this done, so we're going to put this in here and we're going to see if our light is working just double check make sure everything is good so let's plug it in 
And let's see what happens. Where's the plug? Looks like it's working. We're good there. So we got light. So we're good here. So we're gonna take everything off the top of our enclosure here. And we're gonna take the top and we're gonna flip this back over. So our next step for this build is we got some of this stuff here. This is called hardware cloth and we're going to make a little cage to go around the little light here. So that way we can make sure our snake doesn't touch this or do anything with it. So give me one second. We'll pull this guy on out. We'll roll it out and I'll show you what I'm using to cut it. All right. So we got our cage all made up. I just used some stainless steel zip ties to hold all the sides together. And I used a micro cutter to cut all the little sharp ends off. And I just screwed that down on top of my plate here. So if I ever need to change out the bulb, I can just pop the top off with the screws. Well, it may be a process, but I feel like it's totally worth it. And just go ahead and change the bulb out. But these are LEDs, so they should be good for a while. I may have to go back in here and change it out. We'll have to see here in the future. But it'd probably be easier to do this whatever inside the cage. But they're pretty short screws so it'll be easy to come out and put back in so let's flip this guy back over and we'll see what it looks like here bring you guys back Alright, so I got everything vacuumed out pretty good. I'm going to wipe it down one more good time with some chlorhexadine solution. And I think we're going to go ahead and get started working on the second enclosure down here before we start putting mulch and things inside here and getting animals in. And go ahead and get the lines routed out for that and the holes cut for the basket areas on those. And then we'll be good to go. We just got to make some more cages and then they'll be ready for some animals. So let's go ahead and get started with that and we'll see you when we get done. All right, so this is the finished enclosures here. I still got to do some more work. Uh, the light is going to be a ever-growing situation. See what we can do so that way we can change those out. But we got our copper heads down here in this tank. And we got our pygmy rattlesnake over here on this side. And, of course, the eastern diamondback rattlesnake is up here in the top. You got to get a good little look-see of him all his glory but these guys look like some pretty awesome enclosures i forgot to go over the top on how we did all that and how that turned out so i did drill a little hole here on the top and we dremeled out a small little lines so that way our wires can run to the back here and that way that can stay all seamless and on the side here's something real cool what i did I use that wire mesh because these have holes on the sides here. It's cut into it for ventilation. So I cut out some square sheets and I got a hand stapler and staple that onto the sides, cover up the vent holes there just in case if the snakes tries to squeeze out of those small holes there. There's also ventilation holes on the back. I'm not as much worried about that with the Eastern Diamondback, more or less than I am with these smaller species of snakes. So let me get down here. 
kind of maybe, I think all the snakes are hiding right now. I think they're in the back hides. But I will be adding some more stuff to these enclosures here soon. But yeah, guys, these are the new enclosures that we picked up at the Repticon in North Augusta. Stackable enclosures. I may put some brackets on the back to help keep them together so that way they don't slide like they are. But I just did that to show you guys. I like it and I love it. And I think this is going to be way safer of a deal for us. Which I also might add some extra locks into these. Especially for the diamondback enclosure to go on the two sides of each of the glasses there. But I think it's going to work out. I'm going to actually build some more enclosures soon. Then I'm going to get some PVC. I found some at Lowe's that I can get. Some 4x8 sheets. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. If uh, 100 bucks for a 4x8 sheet of half inch thick PVC is worth it. Because I think that's going to do me really, really well. It's going to be a little bit thicker than what these are. Pretty sure these are half inch sheets too. It might be one size smaller than that because they're not quarter inch sheets. I think quarter inch is a little bit thicker. But needless to say, catch us on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed seeing my reptiles because I enjoy making these videos.